Good morning folks and welcome in for another vlog with myself Darren class 1 HCB driver over in the UK I did upload and record Monday to Friday for you guys just so you can see what it's like for a day in the life of a class 1 driver um, early start again well it's not really too early was it it was 6 o'clock today or quarter to 6 shall I say if you want to be the exact times uh, it's still really dark though isn't it it's um, quarter to 7 at the moment so I had to rush off straight away this morning, straight to the central hub. And then I've collected a couple of pallets. And then I'm just taking these now down to Wednes, one of our other depots we've got. So they can then be processed and then delivered throughout the day. Just coming from a place called Ashton, which is in a uh, Wigan. Just pull out, mate. Don't mind me, you know, the big uh, camouflage truck that's just driving past. There they are, some people. Really nice and quiet the roads were this time in the morning. Even though it's nearly 7 o'clock, <laughs> I would have been expecting a little bit more traffic built up than what it is at the moment. do hope everybody's having a great week so far if you've got any questions as well about doing HTV driving if you're going in for your test or anything like that let me know down in the comments I'll try and answer as many questions as I can if you're unsure regarding taco hours or how to do manual entries etc um, again just let me know down below in the comments I'll try and answer as much as I can to get to witness where I am now so let's jump onto the M6 South and then to the M62 and cutting across to the bypass and then I'm on the far end of witness as well which is pretty much close to speak so down the road from the speak airport if roads were like this all day it was so much easier this job up here aren't we so we can actually get the turn on it we should be able to just straight up trailer enough to get fast perfect all right with this all done it's seven miles away to me next drop uh, two pallets to come off at that location. Just kept all these ballards all over here as well. And it's in the L24 postcode of Liverpool area. So it's only up the road. Not a bad one to get to. It's quite a busy road this actually isn't it? Well, I just need to get over to the other side of the bypass. Uh, best way to do that is to come down this way. Satnav doesn't like to tell me to come this way though, but I know it's better. I'll go underneath the bypass and pop up on the other side. what the camera's picking up when it goes out. I've not really done this camera review for um, a while because it makes it quite bright when you're looking out the front window and you can't really see it too great. Um, that's just because the camera's on the back wall at the moment of the cab and I've got the bed in between. So 
So it's probably, probably about four foot. Yeah, probably about four foot, five foot maybe, from the window screen at the moment. Ideally, I need it about here, so you can still see a little bit of myself over the shoulder. But then you can see the road quite clear as well. So if you can't see the road too much there, I do apologise. <laughs> out a way to do it safely as well to make sure it doesn't fall whilst we're driving cause any accidents or distractions I don't think we're busy today I think it's gonna be a good finish time it's not too bad for a Thursday it's tomorrow I want a good finish <laughs> Friday is a quite a busy day for me at the moment Whereas Thursday is not really do much, so I don't mind doing the hours on a Thursday. Mondays seem to be the day I do the most hours though. Normally like a 4 o'clock in the morning start, I like probably do 14 hours quite easily. <laughs> so finishing at 6 or so in the afternoon. I don't do the head POV much anymore as well because when you're driving you need to be checking the mirrors constantly and it probably cause a bit of motion sickness for you guys so I'd rather not be having the camera swaying around all over the place that's some looking left and right quite sharp movements as well Quarter to nine at the moment. So I've been in for nearly three hours. Well, I've actually been in for three hours already. It's gone really quick. And I just need to move the truck forward a little bit just so you can offload them. That wind chill is absolutely freezing today. God, it's gonna be a cold winter. I might even have to go as far as getting a little beanie hat ready. Keep me head warm. <laughs> it's just when I've just had my hair cut, like it's all short around the sides and my ears and stuff. God, I still don't get how some people wear shorts all year round though. God, it's got an FLT, it must have been freezing wearing shorts in this weather. Nah, it's November, mate. Cover up a little bit. <laughs> Over here now at St. Helens Depot, and I've got to collect 14 pallets to take back to our Haydock branch. And whilst I'm at Haydock, I've got to collect five pallets from there 
and then drop in all the pallets I've got on my trailer then over to our client in Ashton. So it's only around the corner. I'm staying pretty local today by the looks of it. Not doing many di much distance or anything. But it's just, I don't mind. I don't mind sometimes. I prefer distance, I prefer long, far away from the depot and that like as I can normally, but every so often I don't mind some of those. Well, see, I'm waiting to get loaded though. Well, see, I'm waiting to get loaded though. I'm going to nip across the cafe, across the way, get a nice little bacon butter. That's the only problem sometimes when you start so early in the morning, you skip breakfast. I couldn't resist, right? Don't judge me. So I've got mushrooms, sausages, black pudding, bacon, beans, tomato, hash brown, coffee as well. And it was only like a quid 50 more than what the bacon butter was. May as well. Bloody love it, I've not said so myself. Managed to get it finished just in time for it to be loaded as well. Time is now half past 10. So let's get back to Hay Dock, shall we? It's always more daunting though when you're on the road. If you've got a lot of people with little patience for any trucks. One thing I do hate doing is rolling up these strats. They're wind there, caught the side. That's what I do. I fold about a third of it over. So then you've got two like this, starting off like that. And then roll it from there. It just rolls them off a little bit quicker. Three straps folded up. Back in the home they go, all nice and neat. Backing it up, I've one pallet loaded to go back to our depot. Perhaps it's not great on this one. And just like that, one pallet taken off, back to our depot and straight onto another truck going up to Scotland. Mm -hmm. Just had to come down to CV Components get a new fuel cap off with the old and on with the new next up let's get out of St Helens and head back over towards Witness been quite local today just started to rain quite a bit though so downside I don't like this weather, it's rubbish. Let's see if we can get straight out on this junction. A little pain in the back side of this one because you got the roundabout to the right hand side where the McDonald's is of St. Helens and then you got Shirley Park over on the left and it's a busy cut through and sometimes it's probably worth going left around the roundabout and then coming back on yourself if it is too busy. Nope. Okay, that's quite lucky, didn't pull out. Just about to pull out. Uh, it looked like a van actually left the left indicator on. then luckily uh, trusting my gut instinct 
because the van was coming down they had the left indicator on as if to go to turn into the junction where I was trying to come out but it didn't look like they were slowing down so it's not always worth taking that risk if you see the indicator on always second guess it you things even more fun for today it is now absolutely horrendous outside I don't really want to go out if I'm being honest I'm just outside my next client for the collection I think it's gonna be a full trailer load from here it normally is I finished my 30 minute break as well and I think it's time to stick the waterproofs on, eh? to reverse into our clients but the road's too narrow especially for these cars parts of the way I don't really have much of an option unfortunately Proof in it. Well and truly miserable for this. It really is. Let's go. It's always a pain as well because when it's raining, all the water from the top of the trailer always comes around here, right where the bloody your handle is. I need to start undoing the trailer. So you just get absolute sulking. Back at the depot now, it is currently three o'clock. Nice and early, there's only one truck in front of me in the queue. However, I've got to go to the hub now. So I'm going to the hub for the third time today. Yeah, that's unusual, isn't it? Be there three times in one day. So third time, I've got to drop off uh, a full trunk, uh, get unloaded really quick at the hub as well. They really are quick, there's like two or three people unload you in about five or ten minutes um so yeah so it's not real too bad hopefully i'll be leaving here for about four o'clock and then finishing for five yeah hopefully five o'clock we should be finishing fingers crossed that way fingers crossed because anything can happen it really can when you're doing driving engage heater get that cranked right up just waiting for him to load up the trailer I'm currently using so it saves dropping it and then trying to get a double deck and fighting with the curtains. That's one thing I hate about going to hub because you've got to fight with the curtains trying to strap them at the back. And this little fella, break it up just in case at an emergency. Good old dark thunder. Arrived there now at the hub and what you can hear beeping behind me is the pallets getting scanned off the wagon. So it's quarter to five now, should be finished and back to the yard for half past five. So yeah, 45 minutes, give or take, should be finished. Which will mean six o'clock home time. At home anyway, arriving home and having tea for six o'clock. Since that is my working day done, I'm going to leave it there on the video. So thank you very much for all the support. Thank you for all the likes, comments, subscribes. <gasps> Got hiccups. Ooh, that energy drink. A little bit gassy on my belly. Sorry about that. Um, yes, you did enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. As always, stay safe.